Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth, uh, wet, windy, wild, another crazy weather day, uh, maybe getting up to 61, but the real story is the uh, the rain and the wind again. Tomorrow, 72. I look sunny. forward to tomorrow. Yeah, and it uh, doesn't look like any rain in our future for quite some time once this passes through. So uh, now I will tell you, it's going to be cold this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We are going to struggle to get to 60 degrees. Struggle. Well, I'm going to see Almost Famous Saturday, so better that it be a little cooler than too hot. I was telling you earlier, the previews and the videos I see online look amazing. The crowds look just nuts and like, you know, roaring and clapping and singing and the whole thing. I'm excited to um, uh, to hear your review, Candy, because we love that movie so much. My favorite. My kids love it. We all love it. Now, I'm curious to see not only how it translates to the stage, but, you know, the music's going to be different. Absolutely. So, you know, one of the things about the movie is the music was written by uh, Nancy Wilson from Heart and and her former husband, uh, yes, Cameron, Cameron Crowe. Crow. Mm-hmm. Um, so the music really goes along with everything in the movie. Now, Broadway show, I mean, the music's completely different from what I understand. So I'm curious to We're see. We're going to have a big review come Monday. Yeah, excited oh, that's for that's right. It. It's Columbus Day. You won't be here. Right. So, all right, quick note. Friday, this Friday, Angela's House takes over the radio station. They're raising money for medically fragile children and their families. They will have the morning show. Uh, so we wish them well in raising money, and uh, it's a thing we do every year. And Monday uh, is Columbus Day. I will uh, take the day off. So Tuesday, I will hear about your review of Almost Famous. Okay? All right. Yes, because it's a very important holiday, Columbus Day, to take off. Are you making fun? Am I? Uh, Columbus Day is a company holiday. (laughs) Okay. Uh, I am uh, more than uh, able to take off if I wish to, Candy. The other thing you have to realize is I have children in school who also have the day off. Mm -hmm. So this also plays into it, you know, different things and stuff. So um, just calm yourself. Calm yourself. Oh, I'm calm. Step back. Um, Did I ever tell you the story when we worked at a different radio company? This is going back many years. Uh, I want to, I don't know. It was 2008, 2009. I was in a hallway privy to a conversation that maybe I shouldn't have been around for. Mm. It was a big client, big client. They spent a lot of money on the radio station. And the client says to the, and I witnessed this, the client says to the president of the company, and the client was Italian. Client says to the president of the company, I can't believe I just heard from somebody that you don't give off for Columbus Day. How do you not give off for Columbus Day? I'm Italian, and he goes through this whole thing. Do you know the next day a memo was sent out to all of us on the staff? Uh, We will be giving you off for Columbus Day. Enjoy the day off. Hey, that's all it takes. (laughs) One man with power. One big client. He was from a bank. I'll never forget it. And uh, he's like, he's saying to the press, he's like, listen, Let's go. And uh, anyway, the next day we all head off for Columbus Day. So, uh, yeah, Will I'll be Will you enjoy off. your day off? All right. All right. Thank you very much. Um, I don't, You know, we have so many things. I guess I'll save this for tomorrow. Actually, now this is not worth saving. It's not, I, just a couple things I want to tell you. Um, to anyone who's out dating, uh, I just saw this list of, like, new dating terms, Candy. Dating the, terms? Yeah, like, like there's a new thing called eco-dumping. When you dump someone based on their uh, how environmentally conscious they are, it's oh. called eco dumping. Yes, Got that's it. that's a term. Um, heat doming is when you're dating someone specifically for their household amenities, like heat, air conditioning, Wi-Fi, pool. Oh, that's pathetic. Etc. It's called heat. That's doming. loser material. <laughs> Infladating, going on less expensive dates because of inflation. That is a new thing. I think we're all doing that. 
and only plans is someone who who makes plans and never actually follows through on them. Oh, that's not good. That is, uh, uh, yes, a, a type of a dating. A bye to that <laughs> dating <person. laughs> As well. All right, national days uh, for you today. It's National Apple Betty Day. Do you know what that is? I sort of do. I'm not quite sure. Apples in like a, I don't know. Apples baked in cinnamon and oats. There you go. Have you ever had Apples Betty? Never. Never. Okay. Uh, no. It is National Do Something Nice Day today. All right. I do something nice every day, but I'm going to make sure I do something really nice today. Yes. Uh, do something uh, for your granddaughter, if you oh, could. Oh, my baby, me, if my angel. It's National Get Funky Day today. Ooh. Get funky, yeah. I guess. Put some 70s music on and start Love dancing. It. Do it all the time. National Rhode Island Day today. I've got to get there one day. I went to a college seminar, a radio seminar in Rhode Island once. It was ah, cute. never been there. Cute little state in Providence we went to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, World Teachers Day today. We love our teachers. Oh, my God. Do we ever. Fantastic. Thank you, teachers. National Walk to School Day. I, yeah, I used to walk to school occasionally. My kids walked to school. It was very close to where we lived. Yeah, walk to school. Walk wherever you're going. It's good for you. Uh, yeah, well, today uh, the kids are off from school for Yom Kippur. And uh, the weather is atrocious, so uh, they won't be walking anywhere. They won't be walking today. No, no poor I Tilly to... hasn't been out getting her full walks lately. It's been too nasty. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. Uh, you do know back when I lived in uh, Rockaway, I lived about a block and a half from my elementary school, and I used to get driven there. You know that, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. It explains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Right? You it could explains <laughs> a lot. You could sum, sum up my life. A block and a half away. Oh, you could sum up my life in that one sentence. I mean, honestly. All right. National Pumpkin Seed Day today. I love pumpkin seeds. It's one of my favorite things. Now, I'm sure I've told you the story. My father. Yes, your father. Laying on the bed with the pumpkin seeds and the waste basket that was made by my sister in school. And he used to dump, eat the seeds and dump the 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 remnants the of the seeds, the yes. shell in the in the thing. Yeah, love mm -hmm. They're good for you, too. And it's National Coffee with a Cop Day. Well, I'm having coffee. Where's my cop? Yeah, well, maybe go, maybe go buy a couple of cups, find a cop on the street, and offer them a cup of coffee, Candy. I might just do that. There's one that shows up in this neighborhood every now and then who hmm. could be a model. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Really. Oh. I almost fell down. When he turned around, I asked him a question. I, oh, my goodness. That's why you go for so many walks. I yeah, see. Yeah, where is that coppa? All right. Uh, some good news. A mom in Fort Myers tried to buy a birthday cake for her three-year-old daughter Friday. Grocery store obviously didn't get any because of the hurricane. The woman at the bakery tracked her down in the store a few minutes later and said she found one in the freezer. She put a little tiara on it, wrote Happy Birthday, Anna. And uh, there's a picture of the uh, the three-year-old loving her cake candy. Oh, very yes. sweet. Because, you know, look, hurricane or not, the three-year-old doesn't know. You know, no. the three-year-old wants the cake. I understand. Um, a deaf dog in North Dakota fell into an open sewer drain Saturday, wiggled his way into a pipe. Oh, no. Firefighters and city workers dug for three hours and got him out. Oh, now that is a major effort. I, I, I applaud them. Yes. And a cat in the UK wandered into a school on picture day and jumped right up on the seat kids were using to take pictures. So the photographer took some glamour shots and gave them to the owner. Cute little, and by the way, in the year, in, there's a, a going to go in the yearbook. There'll be a, a yearbook picture of the cat. Oh, that's cute. So uh, very, very nice. Oh, and one last thing. I mentioned this yesterday. Um, you have to go on Instagram to Good News Movement. You're aware. You've been on the page, right? Good News Movement. I have not. Oh, come on. All right. I'm going to send it to you. There um, is there's a compilation video of a little baby lamb that was uh, disowned by its mother, like its mother rejected it, right? Mm. And the farm dog, Max, took the lamb in, became like its mother and best oh. friend. And there's video of over the years of the dog and the lamb playing and growing up together. It's the cute. Uh, Candy, I watched it about 50 times. Oh, I love that. Yeah, send it to me. I'm going to have to send that to you, all right? Um, all right. Have, have a great rest of your day. You too. Stay dry, stay happy, stay healthy.
Yep. Stay Cla- away from cheese. Cheese. <laughs> it will catch up with you sooner or later. Yeah, it it will. It's a, you can't eat a half a pound of cheese every day, Candy. I, no, you cannot. You, you may <laughs> want to, but you can't. <laughs> I can tell you that. Not healthy for you. Um, and uh, yes, anyone who is uh, listening to us and also. Um, uh, observing Yom Kippur, we wish you uh, an easy day and a good fast if you are uh, partaking. Good and, yes, yes, all of that. Good, mm-hmm. uh, good uh, repenting for the sins and all that candy. Repent for mine too. Thank you. Yes, and uh, have a, uh, a great day with the wet weather. Uh, nasty tomorrow, much better. Seventy and sunny. Let's hit the roads. My country, ninety six point one. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays six to ten a.m. on My Country, ninety six point one.